Israel has stated that an upgraded version of its combat-proven Iron Dome defense system successfully knocked down all of the simulated targets it faced in a recent series of tests. Israeli officials say that the updates will ensure that the system will be able to engage evolving threats in the region. The Israeli Ministry of Defense announced that the tests had occurred on January 12, 2020, but did not say when or where they had taken place. The Directorate of Defense Research and Development and the Israel Missile Defense Organization IMDO, conducted the testing program in cooperation with Iron Dome's manufacturer, Rafael. Viewers may note that last year Prime Minister Netanyahu pitched for the modernization of the missile defense system. Netanyahu voiced his opinion during a meeting of the Military Political Council, which was held in Tel Aviv. Iron Dome entered service nearly a decade ago and has seen extensive use. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes upgrade of Iron Dome system, which is touted to make it almost foolproof. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Israel has been targeted with different kinds of projectiles like short-range rockets, artillery fire and mortars. In the 1990s, Hezbollah, based in Lebanon, fired rockets into the northern part of Israel. This established a need for a system that could counter this threat. During the 2006 Second Lebanon War, the situation worsened. Hezbollah fired approximately 4,000 rockets, mostly the short-range Katyusha. The main targets of these rockets were the northern part of Israel, including Haifa, the country's third largest city. The rocket onslaught resulted in the deaths of 44 Israeli civilians. Not only this, approximately 250,000 Israeli citizens had to be evacuated, and an estimated 1 million Israelis were confined in or near bomb shelters during the assault. In the period between 2000 and 2008, 8,000 projectiles were launched in the southern part of Israel, mainly by Hamas. It's estimated that 50% of these were rockets and the other 50% were mortar bombs. The rockets were mostly Qassams launched by 122mm Grad launchers from Gaza Strip. The Qassam has a longer range than previous rockets and almost 1 million civilians were within its range. This increased Israel's determination to find a solution to the security challenge and it will lead to the work on counter-rocket, artillery and mortar or CRAM solution. In 2007, after a lot of evaluations, Israel's defense minister, Amir Peretz, selected Iron Dome for defense against short-range threats. In 2011, Israel began operating the Iron Dome officially. Iron Dome is mobile and can work in any weather conditions, which makes it very flexible. It consists of three main components – radar, battle management system and missile launcher. Iron Dome's Tamir interceptor missiles can strike down incoming threats launched from ranges of 4 to 70 kilometers. Tamir missile is equipped with electro-optical sensors and receives additional targeting information in flight via a data link. It uses proximity fuse triggered blast fragmentation warhead to destroy the incoming projectile. Each battery includes three to four stationary launchers with 20 Tamir missiles and a battlefield radar. A single battery can defend up to nearly 60 square miles. 
According to Israel and Raphael, it's been used to intercept more than 2,000 targets with a greater than 90% success rate since it was deployed in 2011, though the data regarding the success rate is often challenged by critics. Iron Dome is part of Israel's multi-layer air defense system, which includes other systems like Aero Air Defense and David Sling. It's primarily a CRAM solution that's meant for countering rockets, artillery shells and mortar rounds. But it can also take out other threats, which includes cruise missiles and drones. The most obvious threat to Israel is from adversaries like Hamas and Hezbollah. These groups have been expanding their capabilities and developing better rocket and missile arsenals. This presents a threat environment that's constantly evolving. In this context, we need to look into the recent events. On September 14, 2019, the facilities of Aramco Oil Corporation, located in the east of Saudi Arabia, came under attack. 18 drones and 7 missiles were used for this onslaught. The air defense system, which included American Patriot Pac-2 surface-to-air missile batteries and several short-range automatic gun systems, failed to intercept them. The attack disrupted shipments of 5.7 million barrels of oil daily, which is around 50% of Saudi Arabia's output, and resulted in a spike in global oil prices. The U.S. Department of State press service had quoted Mike Pompeo as saying, We've seen air defense systems all around the world have mixed success. Some of the finest in the world don't always pick up things. We want to work to make sure that infrastructure and resources are put in place such that attacks like this would be less successful than this one appears to have been. The upgrade also needs to be seen from another aspect. In November 2019, reports emerged that seeker and fuse sections from a Tamir interceptor had fallen largely intact in the Gaza Strip, following a rocket attack. So basically, Israel's adversaries got a chance to look into the very important component of the missile and this could enable them to circumvent it in the future. An upgrade at this stage will nullify this scenario. Viewers may note that Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense System Limited is responsible for the development of Iron Dome along with Israel Aerospace Industries. Regarding the upgrade, Rafael's Vice President Pini Youngman said in a statement, We have completed a series of tests with a success rate of 100%. The system intercepted all threats which were simulated in an area secured for the purpose of the experiment. According to Israel's Defense Ministry, the test targets simulated the future threats that the system may confront. Moshe Patel, the head of IMDO, stated, When we deliver it to the Israel Defense Forces, the Air Force will be equipped to confront evolving threats in the region. He further added that these first deliveries of the upgraded Iron Dome systems would begin in the near future. The Israeli military has not revealed any specific details regarding the exact enhancement made, but some reports suggest that the overall accuracy of the system is improved, especially the homing capability of the Tamir interceptor. This basically means that a lesser number of the interceptors will have to be fired to neutralize a threat. It will make it more cost-effective and also enable Iron Dome batteries to take out more threats. The fact is that Iron Dome has seen significant usage, which is actually a blessing. It's seen several rounds of optimizations, which is only possible when the system faces real-life tests and chinks are identified. This is what makes the Iron Dome a unique asset. Last year, the U.S. Army has finalized a deal to bring Iron Dome defense system to the United States. The idea is to utilize the Iron Dome to protect against cruise missiles. The latest upgrade will ensure that the system stays one step ahead of the game and is able to counter future threats effectively. The updates to Iron Dome show that Israel continues to invest in the system and view it as an important part of its defense apparatus. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.